Thanks for staying with us. Well, there's never a dull day in South African politics. I mean, in recent days, we've seen former President Jacob Zuma announcing his decision not to campaign or vote for the ANC come next year. At the same time, um, there was, of course, the NFP that decided to hold a faction, that is, hold its elective conference, much to the disapproval of others. And then Karl Niehaus decided to join the EFF. Others are saying this is because his own political party has crashed but uh, let's speak to him and get a sense of this decision and what exactly led to this moment and he joins us now a member of the EFF Carl Niehaus. Mr Niehaus let me thank you so much for your time. Good evening and I'll start with this excerpt from a News 24 editorial. It opens with the words Carl Niehaus finally acknowledging that he and his party of three people who call themselves Areta have no political future further says that you went cap in hand begging to be accommodated by EFF leader Julius Malema. How do you respond? Typical News 24. Right from the beginning, the African Radical Economic Transformation Alliance said that we are going to work for unity. And we said we want to limit the number of political parties on the left that will participate in the elections, in fact, if it is at all possible, we should unite behind one political party and one flag. And right through the last 10 months, the African Radical Economic Transformation Alliance engaged with all the various political parties to achieve exactly that. So no, Areta is not crushed. The joining of Areta with the economic freedom fighters is the biggest success of our work because it shows that we have achieved to bring two parties together and as individuals from the African Radical Economic Transformation Alliance, we have now joined a very strong, well-organized party, a party that can truly contribute to bring unity amongst the progressive left and a party that will truly contribute to challenge the sell-out African National Congress, the disaster that the ANC had become. And we joined the EFF, myself individually, and other members of Areta individually joined the EFF on the understanding that this is the very best way to forge unity, to make sure that our ideals are carried forward. We've got the greatest respect and we've got the greatest trust in the commander in chief, Comrade Julius Malema, and the whole leadership team of the EFF. So, and we are working now to increase and strengthen the work of the EFF and make it a strong, united party that will challenge the African National Congress and any other alliance, including the Moonshot Pact. We believe very strongly. And, and, and the EFF is the party that will bring fundamental change in South Africa. I'm going to come to the impact in just a moment, but uh, how many members did you, did you take with you to, to the EFF? Well, I'm not going to give a number, but I can tell you that it was way over 200,000 people who have signed up during the last 10 months to join us as the African Radical Economic Transformation Alliance. But all of those members, of course, are not joining as a group. They have to join as individuals okay. because all political parties join and get membership to join as individuals. I joined as an individual. Okay. The rest of the Areta membership join as individuals, but collectively, the National Working Board of Areta made a call on all the members of Areta to join the economic freedom fighters because we believe that's the best way to challenge the rogue ANC and bring unity amongst the progressive left. Talking about recent developments, your reaction to former President Jacob Zuma, uh, you know, deciding to vote for and campaign for the MK party? It is a courageous decision of President Zuma to say that he will not support the African National Congress and not vote for the ANC. That is truly 
a momentous announcement that President Zuma made. I hope that the MK party, together with all other progressive left parties, will be able to unite either before the elections or after the elections into a consolidated position. But my task today is first and foremost to work for the strengthening of the party that I've chosen as the right left progressive tool in order to advance radical economic transformation. And that is the economic freedom fighters. So that is my first task. And my first task as a ground force of the EFF is to build out the numbers of the EFF so that the EFF can become the government of South Africa and implement the radical economic transformation ideals that I share, that Comrade Julius Malema share, that are set out so clearly in the seven pillars of the EFF. So some are suggesting, though, that you were blindsided um, because they would have expected you to be with uh, former President Jacob Zuma making the decision to join the MK party together. But they say that maybe you didn't wait, be patient enough, or you, count, you, you decided to count your chickens before they hatched. Those were some of the suggestions that have been made by the decisions by yourself to go with two different political parties? I've been around in politics for far too long to be blindsided. And my relationship with President Zuma is far too good for me not to know what President Zuma was going to announce and for President Zuma not to have known what I was going to announce. We met beforehand, we briefed each other, we respect each other's decisions. I joined a strong black progressive party, the EFF. Umkontu is his where party is established now. As I've said, mm. my hope is that we will be able to unite in a strong progressive unity. But my task today, and that is clear, and I also shared that view with President Zuma, is to build and strengthen the EFF as the largest left progressive political party in South Africa the party with the greatest organizational capability and the party that will make a major contribution to so, forging unity and also to bring radical economic transformation and get rid of the rogue sellout ANC government and Cyril Ramaphosa, the skellum from the Palapala farm gate that heads up the African National Congress. So you say you're hoping that these progressive black parties join hands. Has that plan ensued? Is there a grand plan towards this? Well, you heard the media statement that I issued on Thursday calling for us to work together. You also heard the statement that President Zuma issued on Saturday, and he also called for working together for unity. In that unity, I continue to maintain very strong that the central pillar for that unity will be the economic freedom fighters and that the economic freedom fighters, its flag, its logo, should lead the process and will lead the process because it is the largest left progressive party in the challenge against Cyril Ramaphosa and the ANC. My duty as a loyal member of the economic freedom fighters, as a ground force of the EFF, is to build the EFF so that it can become the government of South Africa next year when the 2024 national and provincial elections take place. All right, Mr. Niehaus, let me thank you so much for your time. Um, that is a member of the economic thank freedom so fighters, much. Carl Niehaus.